Heyo, Starving Writer here, and this is my Band Eater review. Now, right off the bat, I was enjoying this game. It did take me a minute to decide if I wanted to play with a controller or mouse and keyboard, ultimately sticking with the mouse and keyboard. The controller con controls were a little wonky for my taste. After a quick tutorial, you start off as a baby shark in a shallow bayou and are tasked with eating various fish and turtles in the area, slowly increasing your level and size. If you follow the main missions, you need to eat a few schools of local apex predators' favorite meal, goading them into a fight to see who the biggest, baddest predator the area is. After dealing with the local apex, you start to tear into humans, causing shark hunters to come. Destroy enough hunters, and the boss will come out. If you can beat them, you gain an infinity level and a new piece of gear. That is basically the game throughout the eight zones of the world, with a story unfolding as you move forward. While playing, keep an eye on the right side of your screen while looking at missions. That is where you can see what kind of objectives you have in the area before you can move on. I myself spent about three hours scouring the land grabbing collectibles thinking I was lost when all I had to do was level my infamy up one level to move the game forward. After completing main missions, there's a lot more in each zone you can do, like hunting down all the hidden caches and license plates for more materials you can use to upgrade your equips. Within each zone, you will also find points of interest. It's almost like every single one of those were an easter egg. I got a real kick out of them. I won't spoil them, you'll just have to play for yourself to see. So you may be wondering what I meant earlier when I was talking about gear in a game playing as a shark. What I mean by gear is almost like evolutionary parts you can equip for playing different sharks. There's a few different sets of gear you can grab. If you equip more than one piece of a set, you start to get bonuses affiliated with that set. It wasn't too difficult to get all the equips and level everything up as long as you grab the collectibles in every area, taking care of side quests. All in all, it took me just over 9 hours to beat this game. I didn't collect everything. I'm thinking had I wanted to, it would have only added about another 2-3 to three hours of game time. I did enjoy my time with the game, but I'd have to say I don't feel like it was worth the $40 I paid for it at the time. I would recommend waiting for a sale if you want to play. As far as rating, I would put this game around mid-shelf, mostly because of the repetitive gameplay. The gore and violence was fun at first, but slowly just became the way it is. And those are my thoughts on the game. Hope you enjoyed it and had a good takeaway from my humble review. Time to move on to another game. See you there.